Whoa, that is a big drop. And my ears just popped. The Kangamangas Highway. And these roads are amazing. Windy roads all over the place. What? Another tobacco fade. Look at this. Good morning, day two out here in Laconia for bike week. It's it's not a great morning today. It's been raining all morning. The bike, our bike is filthy. Look, look at this. All over. Um yeah, it's it's been raining all morning. We've been waiting for the weather to clear to come out and, and get some rides in. Um we were supposed to head up to Mount Washington. But by the time we make it there and do everything we gotta do, it was gonna start pouring down there. So we were like, you know what? Let's not do it. Let's just do uh, the Kangamangas Highway. So that's what we're going to do. Always wanted to do it. Heard great things about this scenic route. Um, so I got Willie right behind me. We're heading there now. So hopefully the, the, the clouds break up a bit and we got some sun and whatnot. And uh, get some great footage for you guys. We had a great breakfast this morning. My second time being there because the last time I was up here two years ago, I had breakfast at that place, fell in love with it, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going back there. So if you guys ever come around this area, it's literally four minutes down the road from the Harley dealership. It's called George's Diner. It's great diner food, like very uh, a mom and pop shop type of diner. Very small, it's like a little house on a hill. The food is amazing. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. I highly recommend the pancakes, by the way. So if you're in the area, look that up, George's Diner. You'll thank me later, trust me. Um, after we had breakfast, we went over by the um, the dealership, said hi to my friends over at Krause and Proper Baggers. They're gonna be having a, a show tonight. Matter of fact, look. So tonight we'll be there. I don't know if that footage is gonna be in this vlog, or it might be in the first video vlog or it might i might do a third video for it i'm not sure but well uh, that, that that'll be its own video watch the videos and, and you'll come across it um it's been great up here i love riding up here guys if you ever and, and i highly suggest people to come up here like when it's like off peak as well like if you can make it to the rally awesome but if you can't come right up here because the roads, like this is this is all you have. It's windy roads everywhere, trees, mother nature, a bunch of lakes, um, really good places for food. It's not that expensive either. Um, and it, it, it's really cool, man. It's, it's a really good time. Hopefully the next time I come back out here, we'll be able to do my Washington because tomorrow morning we're going home. So I won't have enough time, but third time's, uh, third time's a charm, right? Before anyone asks me in the comments about the crowd setup, guys, it's it's been great. Uh, five hour ride we took from Jersey to New Hampshire. Um, I didn't feel fatigued at all. Great riding position for me. I'm 5'7". Um, I have like a slight bend right here. I don't find myself like, you know, reaching over to kind of have control of my setup. It's like, for me, it's perfect. I mean, I, I might be doing a pullback plate later on, maybe, just to try it, to see if maybe it changes just a bit. Um, I think that might help me, or maybe later down the line, I might be switching out to a mid-bend bar. Not too sure yet. For now, I'm happy with the setup, but things can change. I'm super happy with the setup, super comfortable. Um, it looks great. And most of all, guys, is stuff that's made in the US of A. You can't beat that. <laughs>
Guys, look at this view right here. This is amazing. Look, it's like a, a valley over there up ahead. Just beautiful, man. So the destination where we're going is about 50 minutes out from Laconia Harley Davidson. So not a bad little trip if you're around visiting for the area. Now you can go ahead and do the Kangamangas Highway, which is where we're going. Um, that will lead you to Mount Washington. Like I said, we're not doing that today, but uh, if you if you are planning to come over here, if you're gonna head to Mount Washington, you're gonna ride through the Kangamangas Highway. I've seen pictures of this thing uh, during the fall time when all the trees are different colors and wow, it's just breathtaking, man. Similar to uh, what Hawk's Nest looks like in New York, uh, but this this is just bigger and, uh, and nicer. Which reminds me, we, we need to make another trip pretty soon to Hawk's Nest. It's a nice ride up there all the time. Ah, look at that, the sun's coming out. You can just smell like the trees out here and the wood like it just smells like if mother nature had a smell this would be the smell right here all right so exit 32 nice ride over here right so we're gonna turn left and then we'll get uh, that leads us to the road where we're going to now Isn't it great when you're just out with your buddies and you're out exploring new roads and new destinations? It's awesome. Making memories. That was pretty cool. What do you guys think about the sound of this exhaust, man? <laughs> yeah, it sounds so crazy. SP Concept 2 one exhaust, man. The link is down below. I got an affiliate link in case you guys want to wanna get this exhaust for your bike. It sounds amazing, dude. We're like basically at the start of it, I think. And these roads are amazing windy roads all over the place heading up <laughs> this is awesome Mountain National Forest campground. Uh, look at the color of those rocks on that river in the side of us. It's like a tan color rock. They're all the same color. It's beautiful.
these roads are amazing, man. Amazing. It's just windy roads, twisties. Got a tobacco fade, Little Rider ST. You don't say. Wow. Oh, well. What's going on? Thanks, bro. That's me, concept. That's the concept. Oh, no, no, no. oh, the seat. Yeah, the seat. Yeah, that's all fully custom. No shit, dude. Man, that thing matches perfect. Yeah, thanks. Oh shit. What happened? Oh, I thought you lost one. No, no. I'm gonna pop them off for now. Not a bad scenic view, guys. Look at this. You want what? Oh, is it that? That's your bike? Yeah, yeah. It's my my buddy's uh, riding him. Okay, nice. Yeah. You're, you're you're a good friend, man. <laughs> you know what? That's what we're here for. You know, I I, I like to share it with him, you know. Yeah. Another tobacco fade. Look at this, fully stock. Those guys were nice. The guy with the uh, tobacco fade, he had also the low rider S and landed to his buddy for them to ride up here. They're from Long Island and they were like, yo, why does your bike sound so good or how does it sound so good? I'm like, oh, so I'm going over everything with the cam and everything. They were like, well, where can I get it done? I'm like, well, funny you ask, a buddy of ours has a shop. He does all the work for us. So they're like, yeah, yeah, let me get information. Let me get a car. Because we're Long Island is right there. We could just go over and I want my bike to, <laughs> to sound just like yours. So, uh, yeah. Mike, you owe me a cup of coffee. Oh, man, these twisties are so awesome. <laughs> yeah, these twisties are awesome. Like you would think, hey, to get some riding like this, you'd have to go out west on one of the mountains, but nah, man. New Hampshire, we got you. is a big drop and my ears just popped <laughs> all right let's 
take a look at this scenic view. Yo, my ears just pop like crazy. Yours too? <laughs> well, another scenic view in the book. We're just gonna keep riding downhill. I think most of the scenic views were, uh, were the ones that we just rode by. From down here, it's just all down here. It's all downhill from now. <laughs> I can just imagine how funner it will be after you would run up and down these roads a few times to kind of get to know the twisties a bit more and get more comfortable with them. Hell of a time. Hell of a life. It's nice and chilly today too. It's not burning hot like it was yesterday. It was like almost like 90 yesterday, man. Today, much cooler. Especially up here in the mountains, man another half a mile or so then we'll turn back around and go grab something to eat grab lunch get a drink and then head back to the dealership in the evening for the uh, proper bagger show tonight that should be cool You see how filthy this bike is, man? For the first time ever, I'm like, you know what? My bike was good, all nice and filthy. What was your uh, impressions on the Kangamangus ride? You liked it? Twitchy's awesome, right? Nice.